for now, a change of mood because the three of us has become the five of us. Um, a huge event coming up uh, here in the UK, in London at the O2 on Saturday. We are talking about a massive event in the WWE. Let me tell you, two superstars, husband and wife team of the WWE are in studio with us right now. Seth freaking Rollins and Becky Lynch. It is a very warm welcome to Talk Sport. Good morning. How are you both? Doing Fantastic. great. Yeah. yeah, we just got off the plane a, a few hours ago, but we got some coffee in our bellies and we're feeling spry. Fantastic. You've come straight here, have you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We landed at 6.30 this morning from New York City last night. We were in New York doing today's show and ESPN yesterday, and here we are with you guys today. Talking money in the bank, talking all things WWE. You are indeed. This is what it's all about. There Simon, it is. Simon oh, there Jordan it is. knows all about money. This fella, Seth, was once worth 100 million quid. He still could be, for all I know, money in the bank. Wow. What is this all about? How do you begin to explain it? So let me explain it because I'm going to be in the money in the bank ladder match. And so, right, the object of the game is you have to climb a ladder and retrieve the briefcase. When you retrieve the briefcase, in there is a contract that you can cash in at any time for the championship. So you can have a championship match any moment. At any moment. So that means that the champion could be down and out, knocked unconscious, and you can call your shot right there and then. So it's very, it's very, very exciting. Just, um, to, just to clarify, why you, you don't get a free... Uh, pathway up to get you up the don't ladder. get a no, free pathway no the, no no the catch. Yes, there the is catch. there is a ladder match and so so we're talking six bodies six mm. six six <laughs> bodies in this match a bunch of ladders strewn all over the, the ring and it's a race to the top it, and Who's it's a race to the top but you know well, everybody's trying to bash into ladders bash Seth ladders and Becky onto you. we are very much a show that reacts to everything that's going on right here in the UK back with you in a second we're off to the cricket at Lords because a significant uh, scene taking place there John Norman what can you tell us yeah well there were fears that this was going to happen at some point in the summer indeed the start of the, the summer the World Test Championship final which took place at the Oval two separate strips were prepared in case just stop oil protesters made their way out onto the field they have of course uh, made a name for themselves uh, the protest group on uh, disrupting uh, sporting events um, and the fear is is that if they uh, carried out their customary uh, orange powder attack then the pitch would be rendered uh, unusable so the world test championship final prepared two pitches there are only one or there's only one pitch here at lords and uh, it's due to the quick thinking of the security here at lords as well as the players themselves that has stopped two protesters from making their way out onto the pitch and actually scattering the powder uh, onto the uh, onto the strip itself, onto the wicket. Jo John, what am I hearing? Did I hear that Johnny Bairstow virtually lifted Man one of the yes. protests, manhandled them off? Johnny Bairstow has just helped the security here at Lords lift one of the protesters, uh, essentially rugby tackled one of the protesters to the floor and then assisted in helping to pick them up and <laughs> move them off the field. I mean, you know, he is an old school Yorkshire type, so you can't be too surprised. But at the end of the day, cricket is back on. Uh, Stuart Broad has just bowled his first delivery wow. of the match, past yeah. the outside edge of his McQuadge's bat. But the two protesters who made it onto the field, they did scatter uh, the orange powder. They weren't able to uh, affect the actual strip itself, which would have been calamitous because I'm not sure how you'd have got it off. Um, but essentially have been removed from the field of play and play is continuing now. OK. John, thank you very much indeed. Back uh, there, that was a development we did not expect. Seth freaking Rollins and Becky Lynch of yeah. the WWE uh, are in studio. This is what happens, Becky, wow. in, the, in this show. Um, you know expect the, the unexpected. This could happen at your event. Chaos. I hope not. I hope yes. nobody rushes the ring. Well, it, well if they do, at least you're prepared. News. You're very well, I'll tell you prepared. They'd have to they, be brave to rush the ring. They'd need to be brave to get in with him, wouldn't they? Oh, I, I've had it. I've had Several multiple times. people. Yeah, I had someone catch me on my entrance or my exit one, one time, not too long ago we were in brooklyn and i was i just finished a match i was heading out wasn't thinking about anything but the cameras and the crowd and the vibe and all of a sudden some guy had just hopped the barrier and he made it all the way boom tackled me really? right on the uh, like a little bowling ball just boom really dropped me yeah he had been catfished 
I believe. Uh, what, what was the protest about? There was no protest. There was the no protest. Pro- was me. <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 Really? Protesting, yeah. protesting me Rollins. or someone <laughs> pretending to be me on the internet that had like. You did know, he do, did he take, hurt, hurt you? Uh, no, no, no. Thankfully, he didn't have anything on him. He was, he was just gripping and pulling. Our security got him, you know, kind of right away. But yeah, it was. Uh, that was he also got a mean guillotine on him. I, too. I tried. He was. Uh, he was. He was no joke. But he came out. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Like I wasn't. You know, you're not anticipating something like that. Well, so. listen. This this is the first London-based WWE event in 31 years. Money in the Bank at the O2 on Saturday. These events. I mean, Becky and your husband and wife team are going to get to that shortly. These events are enormous, aren't they? And there is no holding people back the clamor for wwe in this country is enormous isn't it yeah no it's huge it's huge we have we have such a big following internationally but uh for for me this is a special one because I, i'm from ireland and i started when i was 15 years old so we're talking 21 years ago and i would come over to england and i would do these summer camps in kent there was a a place called hammerlock nwa uk and i would come over i'd fly into heathrow stand by my mom was a flight attendant so we'd we got the we got the cheap airfare. Good and, for uh, mum. Good yeah. for mum. <laughs> and I and 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 I get the cha- the train down um and uh, and and train there. And to think that I would ever be in the WWE was just so beyond the realm of possibility. <laughs> so to be able to be back here and performing in um in the Money in the Bank at a premium live event, it's ju- it's mind blowing. Mind it blowing. It's huge, Simon. The, oh, the, massive. You know the following is, is no, huge massive. Out there, when you look it? at people like Vince McMahon and their initiatives and from the and you look at the, the genesis of people like you know Gorgeous George that influenced people like Muhammad <laughs> Ali to come out with his shtick. You know, we've had, you know, Big Daddy and Giant Haystacks and Mick McManus, <laughs> but these guys are a different gravy. These guys are a different gravy. Well, I what? used to, my oldest boy, I mean, I took him when he was young, and I've also taken my younger son in previous years, and I was completely gobsmacked by the amount of numbers and the excitement and uh, seeing what some grown adults were doing. Oh, at these man. I was Our, like, what is going? It's, they, yeah. they're, they're crazy Our for Our fan it. base is, oh, they're one of a kind, man. There's Amazing. nothing like them. They are so passionate about what we do at WWE and professional wrestling as a whole. I mean, they, they make it really special. Saturday at 02 is going to be like molten hot. It's going to be wild. <laughs> Can you let us into this, Seth? I mean, it's all choreographed in fine detail. Well, no, it's not. And it depends on the event, you know. It depends on what we're working with here. It's it's a it's a mix of choreography and improvisation. Mm-hmm. So we're artists in the sense that we're on a stage and we're performing, so it's kind of like theater in the round in the sense that, you know, we've got to perform for all, all sides, but we're also athletes kind of doing our own stunts, taking falls, you know, at danger all the time. But there's, like, this element of interaction with our audience where you can never, because they're such a big part, they're a character in the play themselves, you never know what you're going to get. You know, when you get to a certain level, you can kind of assume, and that's what you plan for, but you never know. You never know what you're going to get when out when you get out there, and you have to be able to adapt. And so you have to be able to work with them to get that kind of ebb and flow and find that perfect synergy to really take your match, take your story to the next level. And speaking of Saturday, there's an extra element of the ladders because you never know what those things are going to do they sometimes have a mind of their own you know oh, really? yeah 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 because you know you're getting thrown into them and so yeah. so you want to climb one but next thing you know it's all broken and bended up and so you got to get rid of that one and find a new one so yeah do, yeah, do you have any degree of wild. trepidation going into it or you just you just literally yeah, throw yourself so into it no, no. I, I mean, mean, do you do you second guess yourself going into an event like this? All, Seth? Always, always. I mean, you've been in a bunch of them. I've been in a bunch of them. The ladders are dangerous, man. I mean, there's no, there's no like you're not pulling the ladders. When you fall onto a ladder or you fall off a ladder, you're falling from an extra six feet and an extra eight feet, or you're falling onto solid steel. Like there's just no bones about it. And so, anytime you go out there and you know that that's the task at hand, you're 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 nervous. I mean, there's an extra element of nerves. But I, you mentioned kind of the the rabid fan. Base. I mean that adrenaline rush. It's like a drug, man. It's like a have shot. You done, have you been here before and and competed over here before in London? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I've been over so, here for over a decade. What's now. the difference in reaction from the audience? You've got this rabid fan base in America that's committed and <laughs> indexed to the sport. I don't mean rabid in terms of loons, yeah. but in terms of focus, <laughs> right? a diseased. Um, but is there a difference, or is it just you get the same reaction? No. What do you? It's think? a good question. Oh, gosh, it is, it's a great question. It's a great question. I think there is the extra element of of distance. Like we're not 
on hand here all the time. So it's it's more of a rare occasion. So I think you get an extra element of excitement mm. because we're not here all the time. It's more of a yeah, rarefied yeah. space. It's a homecoming that we're for you. Exactly. A lot of yes. people will be here to see you. I mean, you know, I would have thought you know, there's great excitement that you're in town, Becky. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's 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 fun. You know, we're just across the pond. So yeah, yeah, yeah. and because I have, you know, like I was I was performing in front of thirty people. Maybe if we were lucky when I was 15, 16, 17. And uh, to be able to go out there in front of, I don't know how many people are going to be there on Saturday. Yeah, 17, oh, 17, 17 18,000. 18, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. just... Yeah, but well, everywhere you go in the States, you're, you're, you're massive. You're superstars, aren't you? Uh, do you? Are you relaxed in the knowledge that this thing is consumed by so many people? Yeah, I think so. I mean, gosh, we've both been doing it at such a high level for such a long time. I, I think there are instances where you, you get struck by how, I guess, big of a deal you are, even in your own little kind of circle. Kind of a big deal. <laughs> well, you know what I mean? I, I'm not trying to... It's but, what we all want to be, right? But, but at the end of the day, that. at the end of the day, you're, 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 you're still just this kid who kind of grew up, and you know, for you it was Dublin. I grew up in a small town in the Midwest in the States, and so like I'm still that kid at heart, and I, I, I don't know that that's ever going to go away. So I'm never going to feel like that dude who's on a poster, on a billboard, or main eventing a sold out O2. Like I'm never going to feel that way. So there's always kind of that element of humility that goes along with it. it, it you have to really like. You know, for example, I mentioned that the media in New York the other day, we were outside the Today Show, and there's just people showing up. I don't even know how they knew we were going to be there, but they're there asking for autographs and taking pictures, and we're there in New York, and it's moments like that where you go, oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I put a post on my Instagram. <laughs> on my uh, but I think, I think part of it is that you... You never really have time to digest it because we're fifty two weeks a year. Sure. We're constantly yeah. going. Yeah. So you just move and you're what what's the next town? What's the yeah. next story? What but are you're we a doing? Husband here? And wife team. Yeah. I mean yeah. is is talk of WWE banned at home. Absolutely not. I no. Wish. no, no. We can't. You can't shut it off yeah. because she mentioned there's no off season. You just live it, you breathe it, and to be super successful in this gig, you, you kinda have to. There's no other way to do it. And for each of us to have reached essentially the pinnacle of our, our sport, like we have to live it, breathe it, think about it all the time. It's yeah. just it's part of a it's part of our life. And so yeah, we all well, we do is it's all about this on Saturday night, isn't there it? There it is. It's man. all about money in the bank. So uh, Seth, um if you want to take it away, what can we expect? Becky, if you want to tell us as well, what can we expect then from the show? Dude, it's just gonna be like I said, molten hot crowd you're gonna get some of the best sports and entertainment bar none and if you just want to go there to people watch you're gonna get that in spades because it's a party it, i mean it's gonna be just athleticism entertainment drama comedy emotion all of these things kind of wrapped into one and that's what we do at wwe fantastic you couldn't sell it better could you no 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 so i'm not gonna try <laughs> <Yeah. It's marvelous. laughs> guys uh becky lynch seth rollins i'll leave the freaking bit out listen good luck thank you so much for being with us sorry about the interruption no. but we had to go to the cricket who knows we might get more of it hopefully yeah. you don't see anything like that at your event uh, that's going to disrupt it in any way it's been fantastic the number of messages coming in for you guys it's significant they love you out there oh. thank you for being with us this morning thanks for thank having you. us thank wonderful you wonderful wwe is in town Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.